Concussion Productions presents Football Helmets. Why is Joe Montana so happy, even though he knows he's about to get sacked? Because he's wearing a football helmet. Today, we'll be talking about the history of football helmets. I'll show you how they are made and how they have changed over time with the game of football. In this all-American game, the helmet is an essential piece of equipment, although being the last piece of safety equipment added to the football attire. The helmet shell is made through injection molding. This is done as plastic pellets are forced into a machine that melts and injects the plastic into a mold, creating the helmet shell. The hardened shell is then automatically moved to a conveyor belt for the next step of production. In 1893, James Naismith, the father of carrier aviation, used a helmet similar to aviation pilots but with more skin to protect his head in the Army vs. Navy games. In 1896, George Barclay started to use straps and ear guards to protect his ears. Here the excess is trimmed off using pneumatic clippers. Next, a robotic arm drills precision sized holes into the helmet. These holes only take about 30 seconds to drill. The holes are used for different hardware like the face guard and other accessories. The drilled shell is removed and replaced by a worker for the robot to continue working in the lineup. If this player had not been wearing his helmet, he would have not lasted the whole game. After the holes are drilled, the shell is roughed up using a sander. With the shell sanded, it is ready for a coat of primer and up to three coats of paint. As you can see, this player's helmet was well fitted to his head. The painted helmet shells are left to cure in the open air at room temperature for up to 18 hours. As the paint cures, a chemical reaction takes place, which gives the helmet a nice, glossy finish. This helmet is almost ready for game day. Next, vinyl and foam padding are installed onto the helmet. The padding is snapped into the crown of the helmet by a worker through holes previously drilled into the shell. The rear padding is reinforced with a rubber bumper. One lucky helmet from each batch goes through a series of tests. One of the tests is an impact test. A worker places the helmet on a head-shaped fitting equipped with carefully calibrated sensors. The worker presses a release switch and the helmet falls. This test mimics a player's head hitting the ground after a tackle. A computer then analyzes the data obtained by the sensors and displays the results. This data is carefully documented so that the best quality football helmets can be made. If the helmet passes all the tests, the whole batch is approved for the next phase of manufacturing. This test is done to see how the helmet protects the player's head from impact with another player. The face guard is then attached to the helmet. There are several different types of face guards which players can customize. The face mask was used as a steel bar and later designed into a multi-bar design. The multi-bar face guard can be custom made from titanium, stainless steel, or carbon steel to protect the players from fists, cleats and other objects. The face guard is also coated with PolyArmor G17, a powder coating that is resistant to impact and corrosion. It is a good thing that they added the face guard, otherwise this would happen. This helmet is almost ready for the gridiron. All it needs is a chin strap and cup. A company's logo is printed using heat in the foil sheet. The chin straps are then trimmed to the design length. After the chin cup has been sewn to the strap, it is attached to the helmet. The player can then adjust the chin strap and cup to fit their head. We wouldn't want them losing this important piece of equipment on game day, now would we? After all the components are attached to the helmet, a final inspection is made. The final product is inspected for defects and other abnormalities. It is packaged with a manual containing safety and fitting instructions. This process of manufacturing a football helmet takes less than 24 hours. Once the football helmet is made, it is ready to handle thousands of blows. Now we're ready for kickoff.